Hey my kitties, I'm your host Manvi and today I will be showing some of my skincare and makeup and little bit of my hair care recommendations for the Nykaa Super Summer Saver Sale. Honestly, I had no idea about this sale because I've been sick for almost 4-5 days. I'm recovering but I received so many of your DMs. Manvi, please do this video. So, I am here. Also, everything that I earned from today's video will be donated to the charities i have not decided on the charities because i've been sick so i will be doing that in some time but i also want to encourage my subscribers to donate whatever they can and if you hear my voice is a little bit husky that's because you know i'm still recovering so please don't mind that so all right let's begin with this video and i will be starting with my skincare recommendations first and all of my recommendations will be in my description box if you don't want to watch this whole video so let's begin so let's begin with my first skincare recommendation that i've been loving lately i've been using this oil only this oil and a moisturizer these days because my skin is not doing well so first i got the mini version of it which was around 850 rupees and it heals my skin within the matter of days so I got the full version of it and all of these skincare products I'm mentioning in today's video are bought with my own money so let me show you the full sized bottle this is a full size 12 ml bottle so if it goes on sale definitely grab it because I will be mentioning it in my skincare videos and this oil is so lightweight if you are oily and acne prone skin type you can use this as a serum totally all right so the moisturizer that really helped me during this time is the phytoceramide moisturizer by earth rhythm and this is for all skin type but if you're oily acne prone skin type you can avoid this it's a lightweight creamy textured formula i have almost finished this moisturizer and i will repurchase it and if you are dry combination and sensitive skin type i would highly recommend this and if your skin is peeling from everywhere try this moisturizer because it has ceramides which heals your skin these two skincare products really healed my skin and that's why it's one of my top recommendations all right so for oily and acne prone skin type i recommend the clinique moisturizer this is the new updated version 100 hours and it's more moisturizing and so far i've been loving the formula of it so this is for oily and acne prone skin type you can use it in the day and the night but i also have a nighttime moisturizer for you guys and it's the plum green tea renewed clarity night gel it has glycolic acid so it will also exfoliate your skin but also moisturize your skin now i have two peels which i wanted to recommend to you guys and i hope that you are not using scrubs on your skin on this channel we don't use scrubs we use peels i recommend the doctor shed peel all the time on my channel but for those people who don't want to try this peel as of yet on their skin you might be under 20 or you might be scared of trying some strong chemical peels it's not strong but still it gives you an extremely brightening effect on your skin for them i have the innis free vine peeling softener jelly this peeling solution will clean your skin thoroughly you will get rid of your blackheads but it does not give the brightening effect as much as uh, dr shet one does it's a cellulose based peeling solution if you have tried the huda beauty wishful scrub it's very much similar to that i have one cream for those people who have mature skin or premature signs of aging or fine lines smile lines early signs of aging wrinkles for 50 plus for 30 plus even for those people who are in their 20s but showing the premature signs of aging like smile lines or fine lines this cream by Cosrx advanced nail 92 all-in-one cream so if you have not tried this cream definitely give it a try I've been recommending this on my channel for years now now I have a new serum which I've been loving these days and it's the earth rhythm hyaluronic acid serum I have the ordinary hyaluronic acid serum and I can say that it's the closest dupe of ordinary I found and texture of this one is pretty similar it's so gentle and soothing on my skin and I wake up with the plumper skin anyone can use hyaluronic acid and you can use it with any other active it's so good if you've been watching my skincare videos for some time then you know that I love and rave about vitamin c serums and the importance of vitamin c serum in your skincare routine so the two vitamin c serum that i recommend 
recommend and love and swear by on my channel one is by dr shed this is the 20 percent vitamin c serum and the other one is the claire's vitamin c this is the five percent vitamin c serum i love both of these serums so you can choose according to your budget this one is more affordable but if you want that extra glowy effect on your skin then go with the claire's one okay so for toners i have three recommendations and you can choose according to your skin type okay so first is for dry skin type it's my new favorite laneige cream skin and toner it's very moisturizing extremely moisturizing and gets a beautiful glow this is what i've been using currently because my skin is peeling you know and it has been benefiting my skin so i love it and it's also fragrance free which is amazing alcohol free love this now for combination and oily skin type and if you are a regular on my channel then you know i love the kama ayurveda rose water especially during the summer time it's literally the best rose water toner out there i have tried so many rose water but nothing beats this now my next toner is for those people who have extremely sensitive skin type you might have eczema rose or you don't like rose water toners so simple soothing facial toner is for you it's extremely soothing extremely gentle on the skin and for sensitive skin type it's also very lightweight and you would love it during summer time it's fragrance free alcohol free and very affordable okay okay kitties so i also have nighttime toner recommendations it's for those people who have dull skin and want the extra brightening effect on their skin also want to exfoliate their skin so my first recommendation is by dr shed gulab in glycolic acid toner and use it only twice in the night time in a week and make sure to use a hydrating serum and moisturizer after using this and use a spf in the daytime next day now my next recommendation is the pixie glow tonic you already know it it's five percent glycolic acid toner works amazingly but it also has some fragrances so it's not for sensitive skin type but if you have normal skin type you can totally use it and it gives a beautiful glow like out of this world all right so i've been testing some eye creams but the eye cream that has been working on my dark circles so far is the clear's fundamental awakening eye gel i've used quite a lot of it you can see but don't expect any miracles from it it's working slowly on my under eyes but i can see the difference so if claire's goes on sale you can grab it okay and if i'm uh, jumbling my words up guys it's because i am not well okay i'm still sick and i don't know how i'm able to talk <laughs> seriously because few days ago i thought i'm not going to make it out alive wow so for sunscreen i'm still using the neutrogena spf 50 i know it's a chemical sunscreen so as i told you that my skin is breaking out so bad these days i also tried some new skincare and it broke me out crazy so the spot treatment that i'm using currently and recommend to my subscribers as well is by dr shed and this is the neem and bha clarifying serum i use it only on my breakouts especially on my cheeks because i've been breaking out on my cheeks these days and i use it after i've done my whole skincare routine as the last skincare step so for double cleansing i use the plum cleansing balm i have finished almost finished the top of it and i have a backup of of this balm it's so gentle on the skin it does not stain my skin or burn my skin and it removes even my waterproof makeup and then i use the simple refreshing face wash this is for all skin types sensitive skin type oily acne prone everyone can use it and it's fragrance free alcohol free colorants free it's very affordable and it's the only face wash that i'm currently recommending on my channel it's that good you know like it's that good it's for everybody and the quantity is huge you guys love this face wash i want all of my subscribers to try this like i swear by it it's so amazing also kitties i quickly wanted to mention this fact if you're using face washes which makes your skin extra clean then it means that they are ripping off your natural oils which is not good for your skin so don't use those and that's all for my skincare recommendations i only mention those skincare products which i'm genuinely loving and using currently and i feel that these skincare products will make a huge difference in your skin so now let's begin with my hair care recommendations quickly and then we will move on to the makeup recommendations i don't have a lot of makeup recommendations recommendations but i do have some of it so let's begin yeah i survived i survived this video 
Now let's begin with some hair care and some makeup recommendations. So I usually don't use any hair mask. I use a hair conditioner and that's it for me. But I've been loving this hair mask by L'Oreal. It's their gold quinoa and protein hair mask. And I kid you not, kiddies, it makes my hair so soft and so shiny. This hair mask actually works and it makes my hair extremely moisturized, nourished and soft. So you can try this hair mask. I will leave it in my description box for you. And for shampoo, I'm still using my Be Blonde shampoo currently. And uh, I actually love this hair mask better than my Be Blonde conditioner, which is amazing. I only have two hair care recommendations. I don't want to push products just for the sake of this video. I only mention those skincare or makeup or hair care products which I genuinely am using and currently loving. So this is the Tangle Teaser. You can see this and this tangle teaser really made a huge difference in my hair quality and it easily detangles the hair knots in my hair without breaking them so it's worth investing so for my base makeup i have two recommendations first is the estee lauder double wear foundation if you've been looking for a long wear high coverage foundation which feels very lightweight on your skin then go for this foundation i have been raving about this foundation and second is for sally liquid glass i would don't call it skincare it's like a hybrid between makeup and skincare because it gives a beautiful glow to your skin but also acts as a primer for your makeup I actually used it on my skin today so you can see the glowing effect okay so for my favorite lip glosses the one that I'm currently loving is by the balm cosmetics and this is the plum your pucker lip gloss in shade magnify so let me apply it on my lips and show you it also gives a little bit tint to your lips it also has a minty effect, cooling effect on the lips. My love for lip glosses is forever. Look at the shine. So this one is my current favorite and the one that I recommend all the time on my channel is Elf Lip Gloss in shade Bubbles but it's hardly in stock so... Now for lip tints, I think you guys already know a Chewed House Vivid Lip Tints in shade Ice Persimmon and Maraschino Cherry and benefit go go tint so now for lipstick i only have two lipstick options for you because these are the ones that i genuinely wear every day and i have bought these lipsticks again it's one thing to finish one lipstick but when you repurchase it that's when you know you really love this lipstick so for me it's unzipped by ofra and nika lacy look i love both of these lipsticks and i wear these all the time on my channel and in fact i'm wearing unzipped on my lips today and I always get questions for my lipsticks and it's mostly my lip tints or these two. I love both of these. So beautiful. Lacy Luck is a beautiful nude shade for Indian skin tones and Ofra Unzipped is a mauve nude shade. Love both of these. Since summers are coming, you will need to make your makeup long lasting. So for that, I have one compact powder recommendation and it's my oldie classic Maybelline Fit Me compact powder. It's very affordable and they have some shades of it. I have been loving the Huda Beauty loose powder. This is the only loose powder that actually worked for my under eyes. I have very thin under eyes and most of the time these loose powder make my under eyes look really weird and that's why I never used loose powder I also use a Maybelline fit me loose powder which was raved by so many youtubers tried it did not like it I never ended up using it but you can go for this one it's so lightweight it will just go into thin air love this now let's talk about some of my favorite face products like bronzer contour and highlighter so for blush i've been loving k beauty blushes especially their soft nude blush uh, let me show it to you i actually received it in the pr but this is the only blush that i've been using i haven't even touched other blushes i have so many shades of it, it will work on all the indian skin tones and with all of your makeup looks so let me show you how this blush actually looks on my skin. It's highly pigmented. So I'm just going to dip my brush and put it on my cheeks. Look at that. So pretty, isn't it? Alright, so for bronzer, I have the Hula bronzer and this is my classic all-time favorite worth your money kind of bronzer. So let me just dip my brush and show it to you it's so pigmented it shows up on indian skin tones 
so that's what i love about it you can layer it up and it does not make your skin look muddy but it gives a beautiful sun kissed look to your skin can you see it i don't want to overdo it but i'm just doing it to show you this bronzer is totally worth the hype worth your money and i have a mini of it so get this brush with it which is actually useful now for highlighter i have the mary luminizer highlighter i love this highlighter i know it's so old and everybody has stopped talking about it but i haven't because i love it i still use it and i rave about it it's so classy it's not chunky glittery it's so smooth also looks so beautiful and healthy and they also have a mini of it on nika now and same goes for the bahama mama bronzer but i use it as my nose contouring because it's cool toned and they also have a mini of it so i love that like i love minis i love trying out mini products and how cute they are you know now for eyes if you are someone like me who likes to put a little bit of wing to your eyes and also does not like to use false eyelashes then you have come to the right place so for false eyelash effect without using any false eyelashes i recommend the l'oreal lash paradise mascara this is the only mascara so far that actually holds the curl of my lashes and for eyeliner girl you already know it it's nyx epic ink liner this is the one and only eyeliner that i use and i swear by i have used so many liners but girl nothing like this nothing whenever i have to do those precise winged eyeliner for my photo shoot or something i trust only nyx epic ink liner it's so fine fine and it's also waterproof it does not smudge for the whole day so that's amazing and for makeup spray i've been loving the nyx dewy finish it's very affordable and it works and it also gives a beautiful glow on your skin and a little bit of hydration so yes so for me it's the huda beauty eye shadow i have no eye shadows that work like this these are so good i have most of our eye shadow palettes but these two are my most used and most loved eye shadow palettes so this one is the huda beauty new nude eye shadow palette but i'm not sure if it's going on sale because i know her mercury retrograde palette is going on sale so i'm going to grab that one because that's the only eye shadow palette that i don't have so hopefully i will see you in some time and i will be doing better and i hope you all are staying safe staying at home kiddies it's really serious the whole situation is serious whole country is bleeding so please make sure to help and donate okay and i will do the same bye kiddies take care